Hey guys, I'm Cooper Carter, and on today's Fractal Friday, we're going to explore Fractal Audio's new Dynacab technology available across the product line for the Axfx3, the FM9, and the FM3. With the release of firmware version 20 for the Axfx3, version 5 for the FM9, and version 7 for the FM3, all three modelers in the Fractal lineup now feature Dynacab technology, allowing you to choose from four different microphone types and dynamically position them on a variety of virtual speaker cabinets with pinpoint accuracy. This is a quantum leap in detail versus standard IR or impulse response technology, and it offers a wealth of new options to tone chasers. Now, before we jump in, I know many of you watching this are professional engineers or producers who live and breathe this sort of thing, but for those of you who may not have a lot of experience miking up a guitar cabinet, let's briefly review the basics so you can better appreciate what Fractal is offering here. Miking an amp is easy. You pick a microphone and then listen to what it hears as you move it to different positions on the speaker cone, both farther and closer and from cone to edge. When you find a tone that sounds great to you, you lock it down and you hit record. Now it's true that different mics and preamps and speakers all sound different, and knowing the right recipe can be key, but there's really no secret method to great tone here. The greatest engineers and players in the world just combine great ears with a lot of experience and trial and error. Now, if you've been using any kind of fractal audio product at all, you probably know something about impulse responses, also known as IRs. Once you set up a mic on a cab and get it sounding great, you can then capture that sound as an IR and then select it in a fractal. An IR can even be a blend of different microphones, and you can blend multiple IRs captured with different microphones and even completely different cabinets. Up until now, every fractal user has been playing through one of the over 2,000 IRs included in the units, which were captured with a lot of care over many, many studio sessions with Fractal's huge collection of speaker cabinets. I've been in some of those sessions myself, and the results sonically speak for themselves. Many players have also captured their own IRs or used third-party IRs loaded into the many user cabinet slots in their units. So up until now, every great Fractal tone you've heard has relied on this type of IR, including every one of Fractal's large artists that I've worked with, and we put a lot of time into choosing the IRs or even making custom ones. It's what you hear when you see these bands play live or hear their records. But even the very best IR, even a blend of many microphones on a cabinet, is still a capture of a single setup. The mic selections, the locations, and the distances are all locked in, baked into that IR. It's for this very reason that Fractal provides so many different options for each cabinet type in an attempt to present a broad tonal palette that can appeal to a lot of players and work in many different scenarios. The more single setup IRs, the more sounds you can choose from. With Dynacabs, that tonal palette has broadened almost infinitely. We now have the ability to select and move a virtual microphone on a virtual speaker. Instead of selecting from predetermined setups, you now pick a mic, choosing between a condenser, two different dynamic types, or a ribbon. You select a cabinet from a list of classic speakers, and you then adjust the position and distance dynamically until you like what you hear, exactly like you would in the physical world. This new technology simultaneously offers vastly more options and is an enormous time saver, streamlining the process and removing the need to audition countless IRs in sequence, sometimes without a really readily apparent sonic continuity or natural progression between them. Now as you move the mic, you hear in real time the effect that each small adjustment has on your tone. In other words, instead of selecting from what are essentially cabinet presets, no matter how many there are, you now have granular control at an incredibly high level of resolution. And just like in the physical world, you can mix and match different microphones and even different cabinets to arrive at your sound. No heavy lifting or XLR cables necessary. But unlike in the real world, phase issues aren't a concern. Every Dynacab IR is automatically time aligned, so no matter where you position the mic, you're gonna get great sound with no phase issues. You truly do not need to be any kind of expert to know what sounds great to you, and therefore you don't need to be an expert in miking up an amp to get a great sound with Dynacabs. 
The Dynacab feature opens up an immense new world of options in your tone journey, and it lays them all out in front of you in a very simple interface. And now that that feature has come to all three modelers in the Fractal lineup, an update to each one of my masterclasses will be coming very soon, exploring Dynacabs in great detail. So if you want to get the absolute most out of your Fractal Audio unit, whether that's the Axe 3 the FM9, or the FM3, make sure to visit classes.coopercarter.com for my complete Fractal Audio Masterclass series. For all things Fractal Audio, keep it right here on G66. There will be plenty more Dynacabs content coming very soon, and I will see you guys next week on Fractal Friday.